Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. So, the age-old question, do you put sliders, steps, or nothing at all on the Toyota Tacoma? You know, this is something I go round and round about with my wife and others because steps make it easier to get in and out of the truck. Without them, it's more difficult for those that are a little bit more vertically challenged. You know, I'm all of five foot nine and a half, so I'm towering. I don't have any issues. But let's take a look. You know, I've gone with nothing, of course, you guys can see. And the problem in that is that it looks unfinished. It looks kind of bare down there because you can see the pinch weld, if you will, or the bottom part of the truck where you don't have anything. It looks unfinished without something there. Now, I mentioned I've had steps up there before, but the problem I always found was they always got in the way. You know, I'd really just step over them, getting in and out, because I didn't really need them. And the Predator side steps, which, by the way, I think are the best looking for the Tacoma, don't really sit out far enough so that you can get in and out and step on that step comfortably without hitting the side of the truck. I'll show you here, let me go ahead and set the camera down, how I normally get in, and it's really pretty simple actually. Uh, I just kind of step into the truck, you know, throw my right leg up there and I'm in. And as you notice, it's not really a big stretch for me to be on the ground and in the truck at the same time. Now, once I'm in, of course, I'm in. But when I get out, I typically just rotate over and step out. You know, it's really not that big of a deal. Now, I certainly understand if you're not massively tall like I am, that it could be a problem for you. I I'm kidding. So, steps probably are the answer. And the best steps that you can get, we'll show you back here on this Ford F-150 pickup truck, are the flat type, like you see right here. There's plenty of room once the doors open to go ahead and step on those. It gives you a, a really good platform to get in and out of the truck, right? But the issue is, is there flat board looking like steps, right? Not really my favorite look. I like something a little bit more aggressive looking, I guess, like the Predator side steps. Now, there is another option. You know, if you don't want to have steps, you can of course go with sliders. And some of the sliders that I've seen out there, I mean, you know, you can get all kinds, particularly um, the ones that kind of angle up at the side of the truck. And that's what they're really for, right? You do have to be careful how you put those on. I don't think they should be bolted on the same way that steps are. They really should be secured to the frame of the truck. I've seen videos and things of where people have put them on to the metal, the sheet metal on the truck. And then when they hit something, they bend the hell out of the side of their truck because they're not secured to the frame. So I think even sliders aren't really functional unless you bolt them to the frame of the truck. Something that can support the weight of the truck if you use them as intended and you're actually sliding across rocks, if you will. But going for aesthetics only, I mean, if we back up here a little bit, uh, if you put something on that kind of hugs the lip of the truck right across here, that looks pretty good. Kind of just an angled little piece, maybe eh, probably no more than two inches, maybe three inches in, in width, that kind of angularly, that's hard to say, angularly slides up from the bottom, you know, sliders, uh, and marries up right to the lip or the seam of the side of the truck right there. I think that would look pretty good. It would hide the uh, bolts and things that you can see if you're at the right angle or whatever those black pieces are under there and the edge of that lip on the bottom that makes it look like it's unfinished. So that's something that I'm going to consider doing myself. I'm not interested in putting steps or anything on the side of the truck but I do think putting some sort of a slider, or I'll even call it more like a trim piece under there, would look much better. I noticed recently on the Jeep, they have something like that available. 
Uh, they call it a slider, and it's the same kind of setup, although it's even worse on the Jeep down here. You can see the holes in the side in those pieces. Uh, it just looks like it's something unfinished, right? You guys can see that right across here, these holes. It looks like something needs to be there. And I think something does need to be there, and it needs to be some sort of flat slider if you don't have steps. And there's certainly no reason to put steps on something this low. I think it sits even lower than what my Toyota Tacoma does. So I think putting something up there would be a great idea, but I can foresee a problem with it already. Folks are going to assume that it's a step. If they see anything sitting across there, they're going to think it's a step. And of course, what they're going to do then is they're going to come up here, they're going to open the door. Of course, they'd be on the other side because, you know, they wouldn't be driving. And then they're going to try to put their toe right there on the edge of whatever it is you have, a slider, a trim piece, whatever it is. And when they do that, they're going to hit right here. And that is going to scratch up your paint, possibly even chip it off, and get down to the metal so that you're going to have a rust problem. I can see it happening. I know how people are. That's the way that it's going to be. Now, it's even worse back here if you have little kids. Because you know, with their tiny little feet, they're definitely going to try to step on that. You've got this little lip, maybe about an inch and a half, two inches sticking out. And they're going to hit that every time. And they're going to hit it going in and out. And speaking of getting out, if they're in on the other side they're going to try to hit that as well. They're going to come down here and they're going to try to put their foot on that to get out. Even though, you and I know, there's really no reason to do that. So, I think if you go with some kind of a trim piece or slider down there, what you really ought to do is put some kind of protection right across that piece. Maybe all the way down, and I think as long as you're consistent, it wouldn't look too bad. And then marry it up to this piece, which, by the way, is a stock piece. The truck came with this taped piece already on the truck. So I would put some of that tape you can buy all the way down the edge, if you're going to go sliders, just so that you have something for people to hit when they get in and out. And it would be much easier, and you'd have to keep your eye on it, to replace that strip of tape running down the truck than it would to repaint or fix rust on that edge from being hit time and time again. Could you imagine doing that with big work boots or something on that had stones and mud embedded in the bottom? You know, like your buddies come over and they think that's what it's for as well? You know, I really could see that happening. So anyway, that's what I think I'm going to do, though. I'm going to go ahead and put that trim piece, if I can find it, of some sort, or maybe even a slider, I don't know, right on the side of the truck, not really for sliding purposes, but more for an aesthetic finish to what looks like unfinished on the Tacoma right now. Leave a comment. Let me know. Would you do that, or would you leave it alone? And I know there's a lot of people that have commented out there about the truck looking unfinished with nothing in that spot. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.